So, let's, yeah, so I'm upstairs reading. What I thought what I'd do is talk about internet persona, huh? Yeah. I thought that might just be a good idea, I think. I've noticed that a great deal of people seem to be under the impression that, um, that the characters that we display in these boxes here hmm, represent someone in totality when they don't. They only represent a very small fraction of what we are, who we are, what we think. I think most individuals, huh? Um, within their own psychic life, their psychological life, seem to have trouble identifying with their own personalities. Never mind attempting to divine others. In the sense, it's not a good idea to take 110 minute videos and assume that you have managed to gauge someone's personality in totality. Or even to the point where we might think that we have as good a gauge of someone as we might if we have known them for six months and met them every day for a few hours. Mm -mm. I think so. I think it's really important. I think it's really important to remember. I just thought I'd say that. Um, I just thought I'd say that. The internet is a very strange place. It's um, a wonderful place. It's uh, an environment that opens up doorways to different realities without sounding quasi-mystical. <laughs> but it's true. Sometimes it can resemble the box from Hellraiser. You remember that? The pleasure box. Hmm? And the Cenobites. <laughs> and other times it can and should really, in my humble opinion, although it's judgmental, it should resemble something akin to a vast, vast, vast library of information, which is frankly amazing. Potentially human humanity's greatest discovery and invention, the internet. Mm hmm I think so. <laughs> It can also be very funny. In other words, it encapsulates humanity's tastes, the dreams, the pleasures, the wants, the desires, the hopes, the fears. It encapsulates everything that humanity has discovered thus far. And isn't it intriguing that it's to be found in cyberspace, not in tangible 3D reality? You can't quite put your hands on it. Maneuver it, hold it, touch it. It's slippery, oily. It seems to escape one's hands. So what I'm saying is, is that one really shouldn't attempt to grapple, hold. One should view the matter with regards to the information that's being disseminated and allow that to penetrate as deeply as possible your mind, your experience. And beware of who you talk to. Just beware of who you talk to. Um, Ta-ta.